I am Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from a test paper. It is 2014 test unit test 5 on rational functions. What I notice is that there are some students who find rational functions extremely difficult. And one of the reasons is that you know they had not been dealing with fractions so well. Now my approach here is to take questions one by one and discuss with you that how we should treat rational functions as different from fractions, correct? Remember, rational functions are ratio of polynomials, right? So if you think as ratio of polynomials, it will be kind of easier for you. Now here is the very first question. It says, identify the increasing and decreasing interval for f of x equals 2 minus 2x over x minus 3. Now for that question and when you want to identify increasing and decreasing interval it is a good idea to sketch the function so that you see and then write down your answer right. So this is a simple function to sketch. Let's see how to sketch it and learn the technique of also sketching rational functions. That will get you more ready for this test on rational functions. So when you see a function rational function, then denominator x minus 3 in this particular case will be 0 for x equals to 3. So vertical asymptote is at x equals to 3, correct? So at we have to draw one vertical asymptote and this will be at x equals to 3. Then compare the degrees of numerator and de denominator. It is 1 each. Therefore, we have a horizontal asymptote which is ratio of leading coefficients minus 2. So let's say this is minus 2 for us. See how easy it is. So first look for the asymptotes, right? Now look for x and y intercepts, correct? Now where is the x intercept? x intercept will be when f of x is 0. Numerator is 0 for that value. So x is equal to 0 will give you x intercept. Do you see that? How about the y-intercept? In this case, both are same, x and y-intercepts, right? Now, since this point is on the left side, right, we know as x approaches minus infinity, this is my horizontal asymptote, and that is my vertical asymptote. So the graph which we are looking for is kind of like this. Right? We are not doing many calculations, but it's a smooth graph like this. Do you see that? Now, from the graph itself, you can see that the function is increasing all throughout its interval. Do you see that? So, we say identify increasing and decreasing interval. For this particular function, we know that x is not equal to 3. That is a vertical asymptote, right? So, so the interval of increasing is... from minus infinity to 3. Okay, never include 3 in this. Union, it is further increasing from 3 to infinity. And interval of decreases, you can say decreasing, is none. The function actually increases all throughout its interval, right? So this should be a very smooth graph. I've shown kind of a break which should not be there. But I'm telling you one thing, that identifying horizontal and vertical asymptotes and the intercepts help you to sketch the graph. And then you can easily write it down. So it just takes a minute to answer this question. I hope that helps. Thank you.